Hey Centipede, I just would like to say before we get into this video, you are amazing and doing amazing as well. I am so proud of you. I'm just dropping this affirmation because you probably haven't heard this in a while and it's words that I needed recently, so I'm offering them to you. I've decided to start up a visual diary and upload a video monthly discussing how I feel about my life, where I'm at in my life, or where I'm going. This is going to include lessons I've learned and speak on challenges and how I overcame them. So if you're staring at this black screen right now, you're probably like, Nikoya, where is the footage? Don't worry, here comes the footage. This month, my challenge was grace and relaxation. I have a problem with being extremely hard on myself. And I know many of you probably have the same problem where we're critiquing things so hard to where we feel trapped in a box of perfection. Listen, no one's perfect, okay? Yet with social media and the way people only present the perfect image, we tend to think that we're not enough. We are enough. We're more than enough. And I had to learn this month that when I make a mistake or I screw something up that I need to give myself grace. I need to stop badgering myself to be perfect because all it does is bring in negativity. When you're focusing on being perfect, you're focusing on what's wrong, what doesn't work, and things that need fixing and not allowing yourself to realize all the things that you've done that are phenomenal accomplishments. But I didn't do anything but get out of the bed and eat and went back to sleep. Waking up is an accomplishment in itself because sometimes our bodies don't feel like it. And that's fine. We need to rest. We need to relax. So don't push productivity when it's not needed. Finishing a big project and giving your body nutrients and time to recharge is on the same level of importance. If the later isn't even more important because we need food and sleep. Your teacher can wait. I promise you that. Now, I would like to point out that there isn't much footage here because like I said, I focused on relaxation as well, not only just grace. So when I focused on my relaxation, I didn't worry about deadlines, I didn't worry about pushing a camera in my face. This footage is simply what I just filmed, the outtakes of what I thought was cool, of what I was going to edit, and just filming the things that I thought were nice. And I didn't rush to edit late at night while I was on vacation. I just didn't post that week. And that's okay. Sometimes you simply need to take the time to exist and be human. Put work away. If not for two days, just put it away for 30 minutes if you have it. Now, I know grace and relaxation was something that I was practicing this month, but I also want to make it your guys' challenge to practice as well. But not just with yourself, but with others. I have amazing friendships and amazing friends, and that's because I know people make mistakes, and I know sometimes people need breaks, and I give those to my friend. I give my friends breaks you don't have to facetime me every day i know that we're still a friend even if you don't facetime me for a month we just simply don't have to talk all the time and it's because you need time to relax and just be human and exist and not have a social obligation to me which is understandable we're human not robots we can't run forever so i hope you sat here and understood all of this and you take at least what I just said to heart. Don't try running forever. I did, and I passed out at the 50 hour mark. So, hopefully, this didn't sound like mumbo jumbo to you, and you understood what I was saying. And I also hope you enjoyed hearing me talk and you take what I said and apply it. Because I like this video, actually. I think I enjoyed making this voice diary with this footage. This was some amazing footage that I caught. I had an amazing time with my friend. And yeah, it's not, it's, it's, it's a little more different than all my other videos, a little bit more relaxing. But I would like to say, I love you so much. And you need to love yourself so you can forgive yourself easily for the mistakes that you make. I'm still learning how to love myself. And once I make that my month challenge, you're going to hear about it in this visual diary. If you have any topics you want me to cover, anything that you want to talk about, Please drop it in the comments. I respond to all my comments if I can, if I see them. Bye, Centipede, and I love you. Thank you for watching my YouTube videos this month, and I hope you had a fantabulous first month of 2022. Mwah. Kisses.